Coach Cole, talk about this week's preparation as we prepare to play Arkansas Pine Bluff on the cusp of doing something that this school has not done in close to uh, 40 years. Well, you know, this week has been good. It's the same preparations we've been having all week and preparing for the next game. And I think our kids are, are excited, uh, you know, about being in the situation they are, they're in. They, you know, they do extra work after practice. And, you know, we just feel we're good. We know we got to play. We got to play another uh, excellent game. Got to play four quarters, and you know, Pine Bluff got a good football team. And Monty Coleman does a great job of preparing his players and getting ready. Coach, how important is it that we? What did what did I do on the defensive side of the football? Well, you know, we got to stop the pass. Uh, you know, when you got a, a good quarterback like Mbuzo and. And uh, hey, Weber, a, a great wide receiver that is top in the FCS, you know, you definitely got to shut that combination down or at least uh, contain it. Uh, the other is just can't give them no cheap touchdowns. Coach, on the defensive side of football, of, of, what do they like to do? Uh, you know, they run a 4-3 scheme. You know, they don't bring a lot of pressure. They kind of try to sit back and let you make mistakes. And, you know, we kind of feel that they, uh, you know, they don't defend the run very well, which is our strong point. So uh, we'll concentrate on defending. we will concentrate on running the football and, and uh, you know, making sure that we don't put our veil in no bad situations, especially our defense. Coach, how's Jerome Thomas doing? I see him with a boot on. How's he doing? Oh, he'll be all right. He got turf toe. And the doctors just told him the rest of this uh, week, and he'll he'll run a little bit on Friday, and then he'll be ready to go on Saturday. How it's important that we continue to focus so this team will not overlook Pine Bluff, and so we can look and we we'll take care of business with them on Saturday. Well, you know, this is for the Western Division Championship. You know, this game ain't just no regular game. This is for a championship. You know, whether we uh, go on to, to win the Swag Championship or not, you know, a champion is a champion. And we want to represent the West, and that's been our goal all year. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to uh, 7 o'clock uh, Saturday at Del Mar State. Coach, you mentioned circling the wagons. Make your circle smaller. How important is it that we continue to stay focused as a football team and as a unit within the system? Well, you know, uh, you know, we come from a long way, you know, and everybody is not excited and happy about our success. You know, that's just a part of it. You know, I've been here before. Uh, in three other programs, but uh, you know that's the fleas that come with the dog, and we uh, we, we we just gotta circle our wagons and make sure we keep our our friends uh, close to our desks and and uh, just do what we have to do and, and keep our nose clean and everything else will uh, uh, be successful. Big fan turnout, hopefully for our senior night as we salute these seniors and send them out in a special way. How special will it be that the, if the fans come out and support this football team? Well, you know, like last week, man, you know, I, I shout a shout out to our student body and our alumni association. You know, they showed up and they showed out and we looking for them to come this week because, you know, even though that was a big game last week, this is this the one is for the meat and potatoes. And, uh, uh, you know, we need them, we appreciate them, and hopefully they can come out this week. Coach, thank you for taking time out with us. We'll talk to you in post game. Thank you very much.